Welcome once again to AgroBuzz, our weekly agricultural program right here on The Rain's Coffee Break, as we bring you more news and views and interviews on developments in the very important agriculture and agro-industrial sector. Now this week, this weekend is all about the grand JEA JMA Jamaica Expo being held April 19 to 22 at the National Arena right here in Kingston. And naturally, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries will be in the thick of things at the show. Now here to tell us about the Ministry's participation is Director of Communications and Public Relations. She knows everything, she knows everything that's going on, Doreen O'Connor. Good morning to you, Doreen. Hi, morning, Doreen. How was your morning? Not too bad at all, you know. Great. Beautiful day. Glad it to be is. out. Yes, definitely, definitely. So now, it's all about uh, JEA, JMA Expo this weekend. I mean, everybody is out there. In fact, it starts tomorrow, the 19th. So tell me now, is the ministry, tell me what you anticipated this year's trade show and tell me why you all going to be there? Well, you know, ministry is very integral to this, you know, mm-hmm. because... Jampro, that agency is also collaborating with this because, you know, it's a major marketing event, yes. um, Jamaica Expo, Expo Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And I think you will agree with me and a lot of Jamaicans will agree with me that this is perhaps one of the most anticipated <laughs> events on the local calendar. And well attended. <laughs> well attended. Everybody comes out to see and touch and taste everything. Jamaican yes, yes. because it's all about Jamaican. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. about Jamaican produce, it's about Jamaican products, it's about our manufactured items, you know, furniture, jewelry, the whole gamut. And for us who are, who are very proud of being Jamaican, we have to be there to see what's going on. As you said, taste and touch and trust me. See what yes. we have to offer. Mm. Yes, yes, very important. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a public awareness thing as well, so that yes. Jamaicans can buy in yes. to our local products and bodies. Very, very important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, when we're talking about this campaign with the ministry that have now for years about eat what we grow and grow what we eat, I imagine that's one of the very important reasons why you're participating in the expo. That is one of the reasons, and of course, we're going to have that on display. Mm-hmm. Um, grow what you eat and eat what you grow is part of the agricultural thing, but you know, there's also the all Jamaican thrust through the manufacturing sector. Mm-hmm. Yes, buy Jamaican, build Jamaica, mm-hmm. and a lot of that is also part of the relationship with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce. Right. agriculture and fisheries right. because besides being the agriculture ministry mm-hmm. we are also the business industry and commerce ministry yes. and investment has also been added to our portfolio recently right. so you right. know there's a lot of stuff that we are involved with yes. there for this expo mm-hmm. and starting tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening our honorable minister minister shaw audley shaw he will be officially launching and opening the expo so we're all looking forward to that as well Mm -hmm. and as i said on show is going to be our export produce Mm -hmm. and products and our manufactured and manufacturing items as well all right how many booths you gonna have since you have such a wide ministry (laughs) (laughs) well here in we might have up to 20 you know because yes it's several (laughs) agencies involved yes yes remember we have jampro yes we have big old rada rada is big you know and they are going to have two sections Mm -hmm. because they will have a booth inside and of course outside they're going to have the farmer's market oh lord holy for things going on during we have on the jbdc Mm -hmm. you know jbdc and what they stand for Mm -hmm. promotion of small entrepreneurs and all the things that they do and they do a fabulous thing i mean people just have an idea and go to them and they make it they transform it and make it come alive (laughs) thank you very much you know so we're very pleased very proud with that so people can come out and see Mm-hmm. As, as I said, JBDC, you know, the manufacturers, they, they work with the small entrepreneurs to produce the spa products, furniture, all kinds of yes, things. Yes, man. The value-added stuff. Yes. yes the agro-industry stuff. So your oils, your creams, and that kind of thing. Yeah. The main ministry overall will also have um, a display so that you can read more about us, 
learn more about us, uh, about the policies mm-hmm. and so on. Mm-hmm. But we'll also have something for you to, to see and touch and taste <laughs> at that pool, of course. Yes, yes. You know, well, because the linkages with industry, the cassava product, you yes. know, we're big into cassava. Yes. Yes, yes lots ma'am. of stuff could be happening. Now, Doreen, you mentioned about the farmer's market. And if my rem- memory serves me right, I just know that it's some fresh fabulous looking produce that are always there at great prices yes <laughs> do you have any farmers yes. who are all over going to be participating yes rada is coordinating that aspect nice. of things mm-hmm. and yes, as your memory rightly tells you two years ago <laughs> right out front yes at the arena and the sports center they have this huge farmers market so the farmers get to show off their wonderful produce mm-hmm. and there'll be a wide variety of fresh quality products. Mm-hmm. They are products that we can be proud of and say, yes, mm-hmm. this is Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Let us go Jamaican and eat Jamaican. Trust me, man. Go Trust me. <laughs> yes, we can have all kinds of stuff. Strawberries, some of the things that we're introducing, yes. we're going to be displaying. Uh-huh. Strawberries, mushrooms. Yes. 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 And um, as I said, inside Rada, we'll also have another display area mm-hmm. where they will show off the value-added um, products and so on. Okay, boy. So it's from tomorrow and it goes on till the 22nd, which is on Sunday. On full, Sunday. full days, right through. Tomorrow is the opening, so... Tomorrow evening is opening, yes. Right, so after that, no. Right, Friday okay. and... Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Yes, man. Yes, yes, man. Sounds really, really exciting. As I say, everybody looks forward to having Expo every time because people come out. All I need to do is put on their comfortable shoes and comfortable yes. clothing, <laughs> bring the entire family and enjoy yes. and see what we have, the products that we have. I'm so proud to be a Excellent. Jamaican and to say yes. that this is made here in Jamaica. Trust right me. Right here in Jamaica. That's right. We Grown have, and made in Jamaica. And we are so, we are so creative. We, we use some, like a soap, make it to a big thing. And yes, we use man. things that we never yes. ever thought we could have eat. Yes, <laughs> but look, the Rada, for example, will be pushing the castor oil by product. Uh-huh. And they'll be pushing the honey product. Yes. You know, BAM is that they make the cake mixes from the various um, local produce. Yes. Such as um, cassava mm-hmm. and sweet potato mm-hmm. and so on. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So it's what just... it is like. So we really hope all of Jamaica comes out. Yes. Take a look, mm-hmm. put something, mm-hmm. buy something, mm-hmm. eat something, yeah. you know, and just revel. Yes. In, yes. in the business of being Jamaican. Absolutely. It's so important. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much, Doreen. Continue to have a wonderful day and all the preparations for your expo and see you there. Thank you. Right. Yes. So that's it for AgriBuzz today. Our special guest was Ms. Doreen O'Connor, Director of Communication PR, the Minister of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries, telling us about the Minister's participation in this year's Expo Jamaica being launched tomorrow at the National Indoor Sports Centre. All roads, I mean, all roads will lead to the Arena and Sports Complex this weekend. So let's go on out and support them as we can continue to support our very important farmers during the Farmers Month by eating what they grow as they grow what we eat. And of course, for more information on what's happening in the agriculture and agro industry sector, you can visit the ministry's website at micaf.gov.jm. Follow them on Twitter, check them on Facebook, and see you again in another AgriBuzz next week.